If you're someone who finds it difficult to get detail into your drawings when working on pastel mat, this video is for you. Welcome to another tutorial. Let's draw this little zebra foals eye together and I'll take you through my process for adding detail into this small space on pastel mat. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you hit the like button and remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Okay, let's get drawing. I'm going in with the dark sepia and with a nice sharp pencil I'm going to come around the outside of this, this eye. So I'm paying attention to where the, the lines are. I am obviously looking at the reference photograph, looking at the, the guides that are already down on the paper, the line drawing, and just making sure that I'm happy that the lines are going down in the right area. So I've got the, the outside down with the dark sepia. Once I've done that, I want to take the cold gray two uh, and just on the top of this eyeball, put a little bit of this cold gray two in. And then at the same time, take the warm gray one and put a little bit of the warm gray one at the bottom. And actually, I'll put a little bit of the warm grey one in this eyelid as well. And I'm going to take a little bit of the brown ochre 10% and just bring that down and underneath this eye. Not pressing on hard at all, pressing on really quite lightly. It's only a small area. I want to keep all of the, the lines quite light. Not much pressure, don't want to crush down this paper. I'm just going to take that warm grey two again and I'm just going to come round this little water line that's underneath there. I'm going to come down the side with a little bit of bister as well. So I'm going to put a little bit of bister into this corner underneath, really light pressure, just little circular strokes underneath the eye, just to give that representation of the iris. Bring that, bring that down the side. And a little bit under there. In this middle bit here, we've obviously got some eyelashes that come down. And as I say, you can't really see much of anything in this eye because it is so small, but we have got this darker section that goes across here. It goes in and around the eyelashes and it goes across this middle bit in a sort of curved, slight curved uh, direction. And that is going to represent the pupil. We can't really see the pupil as much. We can just see this darker bit. So I'm just gonna pop that into the middle. And then I'm gonna come back around here with a little bit of this dark sepia again on this corner. And 
and just redefine that little line on the bottom of the eyeball. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black and I want to bring the black out. So this is the bottom of the eyelid and I want to bring the black out, but I want to bring it out in sort of a curved direction. So if I exaggerate that, I'm going to come around, down and then around the other side, just as if the eyelashes were following the curve of this eye. So they're just going to come around as if they're curving the eye. So they're going to come around down a little bit and then around the other side. I'm also gonna just redefine the bottom of this eyeball again. I always like to have this uh, sort of heavier line on the bottom of the eye and I find that that will um, almost sort of set the eyeball into the eye socket. I'm using little circular motions on the top, so over the top of these eyelashes. I've just gone into the little crease uh, on the top of the eyelid as well, with the black, and also just coming around look down the corner down here. That's gonna go quite dark into there. That goes quite dark as that follows around. A little bit down there. A little bit under there. It comes a bit down here as well, doesn't it? A little bit down there. And I'm just using circular strokes. So I'm just adding a little bit of depth here. So a darker value here, a darker value here. And that, hopefully you can see that. I'm just going to blend that out underneath. But hopefully you can see that now, that that has created more of a 3D. It's created, it's made this little bit in the middle of the eye sort of come forward. This bit and this bit go back. And that's created the depth to the eye. Created that round eyeball. And just blend that out nicely. So I don't need to press hard. If I want to make something darker, I'll just go over it a couple more times with the pencil. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of Bister and just blend this out a little bit down here. A bit down there. And actually there's a bit that comes down here. A bit of texture around there. Just follow that, follow that around. There's a little bit of Bister coming off the bottom of that eye there. I don't always feel the need to keep super sharp pencils when I'm working uh, on a portrait, but I do tend to keep the pencils a bit sharper when it comes to the eyes and working on the eyes because you do often want nice crisp lines, especially when you're working this small. There's just not much room for a big chunky pencil to go in there. So you can see that I do have quite a, well, it is a sharp point on there, so and bring that down. And there's a bit of pattern around there as well. I want to go in with a warm grey six and just add a little bit of warm grey on that corner, on this corner around here. And just blend this out a little bit with the warm grey one, this eyelid. I want that to be nice and blended. And I'm actually going to take a cold grey one and just come on that waterline a little bit, just a tiny little bit on that waterline and just coming down into this corner of the eye down here. And just pop a little bit into that catch light. I'm going to come back over with black and this pupil that we've put in here, I'm not going to like color that in completely. I'm going to, I want to add a little bit more color and make it a bit darker, but I just want to use little lines so that it looks like I'm just following down the sides of the eyelashes. So you can see I've left little bits in there that are gonna form the eyelashes. And just to finish that off a little bit more, I'm gonna take a Pablo White and just go over these eyelashes a little bit. Pick up on a couple of those eyelashes. 
I use the um, the Pablo White quite a lot when I'm going for little bits of detail like this to put little highlights in. Um, I will use the Pablo White quite a lot because it's a much thicker, heavier, more opaque pencil than the Polychromos White. So the Polychromos White has its place and I do use that as well quite a lot, but I do like the, um, the, the Pablo White for adding extra little bits of um, eyelashes or highlights or you know anything like that. I'm just gonna come down here just to give you the idea as to how this is going to relate to the rest of the eye. So I'm just coming around here with a, a warm gray one. And that's it, a quick demonstration as to how I get detail into a small eye on pastel mat. I hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please be sure to give it a like. That tells YouTube that this video might be useful to others too. And if you're new here or haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. Okay, so all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.